Pigeon racing emerged from war, where messenger pigeons have been used for thousands of years on the battlefield to carry vital military communication. The pigeon's homing ability meant that a bird released from hundreds of miles away could find its way home with pinpoint accuracy. As the army phased out pigeons for new technology like the telegraph and Twitter, pigeon racing took off as a hobby, especially in well-pigeonated areas like Belgium and Scotland. It also caught on in China, at least until Mao banned the sport for promoting capitalistic tendencies, essentially because it was a hotbed for gambling and corruption. However, once China embraced its own capitalistic tendencies in the 80s, pigeon racing was re-legalized and quickly flooded with new money. So much money, in fact, that many European pigeon racers are now complaining that the Chinese are pricing them out of the sport they started. But not every young swift pigeoneer is a rich young princeling. Liu Yang has been racing pigeons since he was little. Like Mr. Bokun, he keeps his breeding flock on his apartment balcony, though it's slightly less nice. What's the most expensive bird here? Chengungren I'm about to do something I've basically forsworn ever doing, which is touch a pigeon. No, 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 no. Like this. Yeah, I'm not going to peck yeah, me. Yes. I'm holding a pigeon. I will ever live. Tyson <laughs> yeah? Oh, wow. Well, I've got a, I've got more tin, a more tender grip. I'll kiss him. I'll kiss him. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, so this is... Uh, yeah, you can hold it. Cool. So this is... This is this bird's trophy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, can I ask, do you have a girlfriend? No. It doesn't matter. <laughs> cool. Liu's pigeon expertise may not have won him a trophy gal, but his heart and dedication is admirable. The question is, what chance does a balcony racer like him have against Mr. Bokun's million dollar flock? Like, that's the actual question, the one we had. So we went and asked a guy who would know. Oh, here they are. <laughs> These guys are slightly adorable. Uh, I've never seen a pigeon this small. I just imported his father and mother from Belgium. Oh, okay. That cost me 10,000 US. It doesn't matter how much money you pigeon you, you spend on, the, on buy them. Right. When, when you turn them loose, you have no controls. Mm -hmm. So those genes who make them good performers, you cannot see. You Something. have to test them on the race. Can you not tell by like like how they're how they're shaped, how much they weigh? No, I didn't you have think no so. idea. I didn't think it's so. all a mystery. Oh, well, it's a lot of lot of series, mm -hmm. but uh, I didn't believe anything. Yeah. If uh, you can see the champions from outside, mm -hmm. the pigeon racing finished. Yeah. Because the richest guy will buy the the one who will win the first. Okay. So more people will not enjoy the sports. The the millionaires. They import a lot of expensive birds. When the race coming, yeah. you might not see them in the front pages. So. Small guy, they have birdie in the balcony, mm -hmm. they might win the race. It's a real underdog sport then. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. So as Mr. Bokan and Liu Yang prepare to face off against each other, and a race that's being billed as the triple crown of Chinese pigeon racing, it's either man's game. Although Mr. Bokan does have a slight advantage in that he owns the association putting it on, and therefore the machines that tally the results. Ni hao. Hi. Da ge, Mr. Bokan, and he, I think I'm not the same with him, because he's a successful person. 
，我可能更多的好像是为了他对鸽子，我觉得，嗯，不是十分的了解，因为他还有他的教练，还有他的一个管理鸽子的团队。但是大家都会，所有养鸽子的人都会了为这个第一名而战斗。呃、uh, ，What do you think your chances are against like Mr. Bokans, pigeons, and everybody else's? 有一只还可以。<笑> So, what do you win if you uh, if your bird comes in first? Fifty thousand. Ah, half a million. Wow. But my bird this year is very hard because the Are you going to bet anything on the birds here? Good luck. What, what number is the bird uh, I should bet on here? Which one, which one do you like of yours? 164. 164. Lucky 164. Yeah. All right. Cool. So should we go gamble? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll make some money. Which bird should I bet on again? 164 or 150. 150. Okay. Switching it up. Are we? Are we? Are we positive? Uh, oh no, that's Mr. Way. That's double dragon. 500 on 150, please. Better our last 500 quai on uh, Neil's bird. Better come in first, or else we're gonna be stuck here raising our own pigeons. This is my golden yeah. ticket. Yeah. Guard this with my life. Yeah, sure. yeah. Do you want to kiss it? We should both kiss it. <laughs> I'll do the other side. God knows what you have. For me, every year, all the birds are very sad. 就就就好像战争一样，总有赢的一面，也有输的一方。但是战争这种东西，它它永远会存在，一个道理的。And so the bird war begins.